right, we're checking out the only game where every time I crash, the god of GTA tries to drown me in his tears. It's GTA. So Alex put together a brand new GTA challenge with one of his most advanced scripts yet. Every time I crash, the script triggers and it randomly begins increasing the water a certain amount and the water amount increases cumulative. I've got all these different cars to use and I've got to complete the board before the water level gets too high. Let's do this. Get ready because it's about to get wet and Painful. That's a terrible over <laughs> this board. So how this works is well, you're gonna find out right now Whenever I hit something, can you hear it? The way I understand it if I hit something and it crashes it's like it like randomly assigns a certain extra value to the water So sometimes it can go up like a little bit and sometimes it can go up a lot now Alex Oh my god Yeah Now what? Ah, there's a corridor of people. <laughs> oh no <laughs> Oh god the problem too is when someone likes a human being, like a human being just rolls on the car, it, it counts as a ton of crashes because it's the impact to the vehicle. So how this works is there's only three ways to get the water level back down to zero. Either one, I have to reload the entire board and start back from the beginning. Oh God. Two, I have to choose a new car or three, I have to eventually get a checkpoint. What is this? Oh my God. There. I also have to mention I was trying to give you guys some narrative explanation on how kind of complex this board is But I'm driving on ice while being shot at <laughs> With jet skis yeah. oh, no, Come on So yeah, this is one of those instances where I get to use the vehicles an infinite amount of time But the problem is eventually I'm just not going to be able to complete the board so here we have the human being corridor. This is like strangely difficult because you want to keep your speed going off that ramp, but you also don't want to hit a person because then their body starts flopping all over the car and you end up triggering the script a ton of times. So we're gonna jump and nice landing. The other thing I've learned here too, oh my God, the water is, oh! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! The other thing is that the water is already starting to, no. What I was trying to say is we've only started and the water is every once in a while the waves are coming up from the bottom of this platform already. So things are about, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect. What does that say? Does that say to the rescue? What is this? Catch the ring. <laughs> I love how the, the person on the, on the ATV is almost flipping the thing every two seconds. Is that guy sleeping? All right, so you go around and then it looks like there's, okay, so there's like a land bridge that kind of teleports every once in a while, and I'm assuming, she's doing barrel rolls. I'm assuming I can't touch these rings, otherwise it increases the the water level. Okay, so basically, uh, <laughs> so if the lifeguard's drowning, who, who saves the lifeguard? Oh, and you may be wondering, oh, come on, no! No, and then I hit all these walls. Okay, the, the supercar is probably terrible for this board. I know I'm jumping into another supercar, but I kind of want to get them out of the way. One, because they're fun, but to be fair, oh God. The problem, what was that? What did I, what did I just? Oh no, 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 no. Does that count? What I was trying to say is, I don't think there's any way I can beat this board with a supercar because they're so low to the ground, so they're gonna end up flooding out almost immediately. Like, even if I, oh no! Oh God. I love how at this point, there's almost boats just chilling out in the board. Like I'm trying to complete the board, and at this point, I'm going to have competitors, and they're not going to be other cars. So stay in the middle, do not touch the sides, and now we're gonna go. We're just gonna go, oh my god, this thing is, no! This thing is so slippery, I never even thought about it, but in order to, that's one. I think I hit someone's knee there too. In order to have any chance at staying on this platform, I basically have to use the handbrake immediately and start like really hard turning. Oh, yeah, this can't even stay on it. All right, well, the supercars are out of the test really fast. The motorcycle, I feel pretty good about, and the reason why is because we've done a waterboard before. Oh, no. And the motorcycle is always decent at keeping, like, the engine out of the water compared to a car, at least compared to the supercars. And I have the speed of the motorcycle, and I have the handling, and it's really thin. So I can go up this area without hitting anything and I can probably, oh, the water is, oh, oh! Somebody just got yeeted by a wave coming through the board. Well, the motorcycle is pretty good on the snow. All right, just don't hit anything. Perfect, there we go. 
And I can lean this thing back and get a lot of- No! 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 Ah! I don't want to catch your ring anymore. Go away. Okay. So, man, how am I supposed to do this? Uh, that's where I need to get. I need to get over there. But the problem is I need to wait for the bridge to pop up. But I can't just stay in one spot. Because if I do, this lady on her ATV ends up running into me and pushing me off the entire board. Okay, it's, it's going to appear here in a second. I can do this. I can do this. It's going to be fun. Did you seriously just T-bone me? Listen, she she turned right in front of me, all right? It wasn't my fault, I swear. That's what I'm gonna tell my insurance company. So, as I lay here on my back and my motorcycle gets yeeted uh, into that missing cheese block over there, I can't help but feel maybe I chose the wrong vehicle again. This looks pretty good. Fancy. Yeah, see, the best part about this is I already have sponsors. Okay, so I don't even have to do anything about that. So, big jump. Uh, the air is pretty good. It gets a lot of air. Oh my god, the handling is terrible. This is- this is now my worst nightmare. My worst nightmare is finding out that this thing has bad- like, bad potential traction. How's the traction? Oh, The traction is not great. How's the acceleration? The acceleration isn't very good either. I mean, I'm gonna give it my best try. <laughs> but I'm not expecting too much right now. Okay, sticks the landing, not a big deal. Plus now, if I get hit by something, like one of the ATVs, I really won't have to worry about it too much. I won't go flying off a motorcycle at the very least, or I could just miss the platform and go to the water. Through the turnstile, through the human corridor. Wow, that was a pretty good drift. Okay, never mind. that kind of ruined my good drift. Through all the wave runners, land onto the platform. Please don't rescue me, because every time you do, it takes a little bit of my soul away. Ah! I am legitimately starting to run out of cars to do this challenge with. The other issue, oh no. This water is, the water level's too high now. I can't even continue. I got two choices. Now you may remember this truck won our deepest pits board. So I know that it has the capability to do things and not fail me. Starting from zero, water level back at the bottom. Let's do this. Okay. Now the big issue here, is I have to do the board almost perfectly. Apparently that counted, by the way, as a crash. Oh, I know that counted as a crash because there's blood all over my front bumper and that's gonna count as a crash. Oh yeah, 10 seconds into the board and it's already looking like a day in Florida. Hurricane Alex is coming to ruin my entire- Oh my God, no! Coming to ruin my entire career. Big landing. I'm pretty sure that counted as a crash, though. Just leave me alone. All of you, please just leave me alone. All right, we're going to do a full 360 because I need extra speed in order to be able to jump this entire, this entire, like, yeah, here we go, here we go. So I can get onto the right. There we are, yeah! Okay, the water's starting to get kind of high, but luckily the, this is lifted, so we are out of danger for now. The problem is that the water gets so high that I don't have any traction left. It's like bathing in disappointment. St oh, yes! I was starting to think that that bridge is like randomized or something. All right, what do I got next here, Alex? So this is kind of a, an easy, what you have to do is you have to follow the board as it swings around because it moves underneath your tires. So this one's pretty easy. Now, and then we're gonna sweep on it and then nice and easy. Now we just have to follow this around. Look at it, oh yeah. Oh, that's smooth. Oh, that's sweet. There's some people having fun. What? In the... It's a teleporting ramp. It's got like an angry blood block that's just following it around. It's like a, it's like a violent domino. What I was trying to say is there's people having fun in the water over there. They're swimming. What they don't know is if I crash enough times, they're all gonna drown. I'm trying to figure out... Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, here we go. Oh no, there's a big space here. I'm dead. All right, I'm not resetting the board yet. I still think I can do this with the amount of waves we have right now. As long as I don't crash at all and I get back to where I was, I think we'll be fine. Through the carousel. No problem. Well, minor problem. Through all the, oh, I was gonna say, I'm trying to get through all these jet skis. As you've probably noticed, I've already gotten into several crashes at this point. The waves are starting to get pretty legit. So I've been stuck trying to get through these jet skis for so long and I've hit them so many times that it's finally flooded out the truck. This is the last one. This is legitimately the last truck. Waves are back to zero. Last chance. Here we go. Okay, acceleration's pretty good. 
I haven't really tested the turning radius yet, but so far it feels all right. Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. And how's the grip coming out of the, oh yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. On it, no. No, yes. Yes. If I only had to murder one human being, I call that a victory. I feel like every time I get into an accident, I'm like rolling a dice or something. I've gotten a, a lot of really bad rolls because the water is already really high. This is okay, I can do this. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> I just need one clean run without some jet ski. There we go, yeah. I was gonna say without some jet ski backhanding me across the face. That was close. I just have to line up where the, t what, how, what was that? I like how they just left their jet ski. They're like, man, that was your fault. The guy's like, no, that was your fault. Anyway, I just had to find out where this bridge is gonna pop up. And I need, yeah, okay. And I need some amount of speed in order to catch it. So, well, and without hitting those. Okay, now it should be coming around right to the front of me. It, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, just barely made that. Just one time, let me have this, Alex. Oh, it's perfect. Bro. It's part. I hit a bird. No, no, I hit the water. The fact that a seagull is, is the one making me go all the way back to the beginning is really annoying. So we've got a real problem here. Oh God. Ah. <laughs> the water is so high. I'm gonna have to restart from the beginning again. All right, I'm using this truck though. This 100% is the one that can beat this board. All right, we're going for a perfect run. Waves back at zero. Let's do this. Through the carousel, perfect. Through the humans, less than perfect, but I'll take it, it's only one. Through the jet skis. Swing it around, Gray. Swing it around, Gray. Hey! Sticks to landing. Over the bridge. Through the swirly thing, whatever this is. Off the ramp. Hey! Yeah! There we go. All right, we're on a new platform. What is this? Oh, does that count as a crash? Oh my God, it does count. Oh no, the board transforms. And every time I hit a popper, it counts as a crash. Okay, so Alex told me something here uh, on what I'm supposed to do. Inside of one of these poppers is a teleporter that I'm trying to find to get to the end of the board. Oh my God, it just blew my hood off. And so I have to do a certain amount of crashes in order to find this teleporter. So it's like, am I gonna get lucky or unlucky? But it's me. What was that? Did I get one? Oh, I must've, oh, it popped and I got the teleporter and it brought me to this point. This means it's time for a, what is this? It's a twist. Ooh, six landing. Oh, okay, so now they're breakaway walls, which means I have to do damage to these walls. So this is another instance where I don't really have a choice. I have to crash. And so this is kind of why you wanted the perfect run. Just, okay. So I really need to focus on one spot and only try and do damage to that because the waves are getting to the point where they're starting to hit my tires. So here, so we're gonna clean up that one. There we go. And we're gonna clean up that one piece. Waves are starting to get ridiculous, but I think we can do this. Oh no, it didn't break at all. Waves are starting to get into the undercarriage. Oh my God, some of the waves are getting really tall. I gotta break this. I need to break this. Just get, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Come on, yes. I just need to get to the end and grab whatever that teleporter is. No, the front rail. No, the car still works. The car still works. Oh, oh my God. Then we have a checkpoint. Okay, so the checkpoint brings the waves back down to zero. Oh my God, it's a wall ride filled with corridors. So if you ping pong off a corridor, does each ping pong count as its own crash? It probably does. I'm not gonna lie too. I've never really tried to wall ride with this thing. Okay. All right, it's not too bad. Uh, oh my God. Oh no. So we got another problem and I really need to impress upon you how big of a problem this is. The checkpoint restarts the waves, but it only restarts the waves that one time. This means if I, cr oh no. If I crash enough to the point where I can't do this because of the waves anymore. Oh, it's getting to that point. I would have to start all the way back at the beginning. Don't you do it, Alex. Ah, oh, no. Okay, this is it. This has to be the run. 
Oh my god, because if you look, the water is literally getting up halfway up the wall right every once in a while. I need to do this perfectly. Oh god, because if I screw this up at all, I won't be able to make it. Oh, I'm, I'm, the wall, the water's been good. The water's been good. I'm total concentration right now. I need total concentration. Oh, no. Yes! Come on! Where's it to the end? Where's it? Oh, they're moving! Oh, yes! Yeah! You could. You didn't have to wall ride. Was this here the whole time? Wait, was this here? How is there a boat just laying in the middle of the field? So wait, when I came through this wall, and then I just, this was here. This wasn't here, right? I didn't miss this, right? I'm gonna pretend that I absolutely had to do that wall ride. I don't care what you say, Alex. Oh God, anyway, so. Get inside this, go up into this ring. If you notice, there's a teleporter in here. I just couldn't reach it with the car. There was another teleporter in front of it. What is this? Why am I underwater? Why is there a windmill underwater? What is this? <laughs> oh, ow. Oh yeah, underwater wall riding, totally normal. Okay, so just, I mean, I assume I go up. I don't really know. And now there's double windmills, that's great. I feel like I can drive this thing better with the wheels down under the water, as weird as that sounds. I don't know why, just kind of a thing I get. So there's a teleporter here and you go, <gasps> Oh my god, my prayers are answered and we have a winner! Well, the waves are really high and so is my blood pressure. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Till next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>